I never thought I would be doing a video on this because it's a rather elementary subject, but the Dragon Ball community, as I correctly predicted, has an obsession with hair color for very obvious reasons. And we got two recent comments that recently brought up an interesting theory. One from Robnag, which says Bulma's hair is a different color in Dragon Ball vs. Dragon Ball Z slash Super, so it's safe to say that Trunks' hair is the same as his mother and it will change to blue when he gets older. And we also have another comment here from Whiplash364 that says this might sound goofy, but F it. I think that Bulma and Trunks' hair both start off as purple and eventually turn blue naturally, kind of like with people who have blonde hair where it eventually turns brown. Essentially creating a theory that there's some type of aging difference between Bulma and Trunks and their hair changes over time, but this makes absolutely no sense for a bunch of different reasons that we're going to point out. Now, the first thing that we have to do is that we have to point out that Trunks got his genetics from Bulma and Bulma got her genetics from Dr. Brief, who's basically been consistent throughout Dragon Ball history in the sense where he's always had either purple or blue hair depending on whatever anime or manga you were watching and reading. And if you look at anime Bulma specifically, she was always blue with a tint of green at times. Manga Bulma was always purple, same with the Path to Power version of Bulma. And this clearly proves that this has nothing to do with age, as Dr. Brief is the exact same case as Bulma and she obviously got her genes from him. But the differences in Bulma's hair changing is not due to age at all, because the anime simply just gave Bulma blue hair and gave Trunks purple hair. And from here on out, we have a free fall of changes because now in Dragon Ball Super, future Trunks was changed to blue hair, which correctly matches his mother. But there is an error with this because in the history of Trunks originally, in the anime adaptation, Trunks had purple hair just like Kid Trunks does in Dragon Ball Super, which makes sense since they're the same person. And this would obviously contradict the age theory, but then Super once again reversed this. In Super's redone flashback, they gave Trunks blue hair in the exact same sequence in which Trunks turned into a Super Saiyan when Gohan died. And they even quietly made a scene black and white to indicate that they changed Trunks' hair in a flashback sequence. But in the Trunks the Lone Warrior original manga chapter, in this, we can see in the full color edition that, once again, Trunks' hair is purple just like Bulma as you can see them in the exact same scene together. So this now brings up a question about the present version of Trunks and why he's the odd man out with purple hair when now his mother and his future counterpart both have blue hair. Well, as you can see as of Dragon Ball Super Superhero, don't worry because future Trunks, present Trunks, and Bulma all have blue hair in the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, and obviously counting the last time that we saw the future version of Trunks. And if we're looking at it from the Dragon Ball Super manga adaptation now, even though some of the more recent chapters haven't been colored yet, we can see that on the actual covers, Trunks has blue hair. So, so ultimately, the easiest way to debunk the age theory is simply to look at future Trunks and the history of Trunks and see that, as a kid around the same age as Trunks during the Zamasu arc, he had purple hair just like his anime counterpart. And in the manga, he had purple hair just like his mother always did. But for whatever reason, Super just wanted to change it, and we get to the situation that we have today. As a post-edit, it's also interesting to point out that at the end of Dragon Ball Z, we also see that Trunks' is here as an adult, or a young adult, is purple, and in Dragon Ball GT, whether you call it canon or not, his hair is purple here too, showing that, once again, the whole age theory never added up, and due to whatever Z, GT, or Super wanted to do with the hair color, was simply either maintained or changed for whatever artistic reasons that they had at the time. 